Cool. Uh, given a 2D binary matrix for zeros and ones, find the largest square containing only ones and return its area. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I've def I've seen this problem before. Uh, I mean, to some degree, I've seen a lot of these problems before. But this one for me, I feel is more of a. It, it, it for me, it feels like a little bit of like uh, 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 like there's a little trick that if you know, then you know. If you don't, maybe you don't know. That it's kind of sad. Uh, and I don't know if I kind of uh, remember quite the way to this. To explain it, but but essentially uh, the the algorithm we're going to use is uh, dynamic programming, uh, kind of um, where uh, your sub problems are your sub problems are for every i and j uh, uh, element of the array. What is the maximal square that can be made from that? Uh, uh, yeah, with that being the bottom right of the uh, uh, um, of the matrix, I, I, I'll, I'll do some ASCII drawing to kind of illustrate. Hope maybe maybe I'll take the input. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, um, uh, and this is not a big enough input, but let's just actually change it to something like this. Uh, so what happens is that uh, this element, uh, the biggest square that you make at that point is a, a size one square, right? Uh, same as here and same as here. Um, and now the interesting thing is here is that uh, uh, given that it's a one as well, uh, the biggest square you can make is actually and to be, uh, this is where I wish I had a pen or something. But but you could think of uh, yeah maybe I need to figure out how to draw this to illustrate this better. But basically, uh, uh, you could think of overlapping squares. Like mm, let me see, give me a second. Let me see if I could get paint 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 up a little bit so I could at least draw a little bit. Uh, because this is actually like I don't, I don't know if I have I'm t I'm quite articulate enough to uh, to even ask you this in a good way. Uh, okay, um, sorry, give me a second. I don't know how to zoom in because I am terrible at this thing. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll put this up on screen in a second. Uh, hmm. Maybe I. Uh, the other thing is also. Ooh. Oh man, that did not go well. Well, uh, the other thing is I'm also traveling for a little bit, so uh, I don't have all my potential equipment on me. Okay, maybe that's okay. Okay. Uh, that's Microsoft Paint. I mean, the other paintbrush? That's not Microsoft Paint at all. Uh, okay, so let's pretend this is a square because it's going to be hard to draw an exact square. Is that, does that seem okay? Okay. So basically, what happens is, let's say that's a one by one square, um, and and this element here is oh, ij. Uh, oh, and I need to get one of those fancy. Uh, I don't even know how to move this anymore. No, no. And okay, well, um, well, it's always fun to try, uh, but. You have another two squares, right? So this is what happens when uh, this is uh, an this is an illustration of kind of uh, of this one, this square, this square, and this square, right? Uh, and then for this square, it looks at the one on top, uh, on the left, and the upper left, uh, and then it sees that oh, it's missing only this particular piece. Uh, so then now it could make a square of size two, right? So then you further away these way using uh, making this assumption or, or this uh, 
uh, uh, yeah, so you do a dynamic programming based on this uh, to kind of draw it out. And if you kind of uh, extend this a little bit, and I mean, I'm only giving you one example, so that's kind of bad. But let's say you know you have now, and this is now a two by two. Uh, uh, this is a two by two square, right? Uh, so let's say now you have a two by two square, um, and and similarly, uh, you need a two by two on top and two by two, uh, uh, well, two by two on the left and a two by two on top of it. So this little chunk that is missing that I haven't put it in yet, it's just a one by one, uh, and uh, and so that now there are three distinct squares. Maybe I should have used colors, but. Uh, so the three, for this to kind of make a three by three square, you need three distinct two by two squares, uh, which includes. Uh, let me see if I could draw this. Uh, change the color. So it includes th uh, this square. So this actually. Just uh, this square. Oh, that's actually way better. Okay. Um, plus this square plus this square, uh, plus the new one that you have now to, to make a 3 by 3 uber square, uh, super square. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> uh, okay, so that's kind of the algorithm, and uh, and you can actually go with this uh, lin in linear time, in the sense of linear in the size of the input to be uh, 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 clear, so it's actually x times y. Um, because all, all, if, if you kind of notice what we're doing, all we ever do is to kind of uh, uh, look at what's on the previous row and the row, to, uh, yeah, on the previous row and the previous column, right? So you actually only need, um, and we, uh, so you don't, you don't need to kind of uh, uh, go any deeper, and you just uh, do your dynamic programming that way. Uh, and you may also notice that you only need to know the previous row, so you don't even need many rows. You only need uh, the previous row and this current row with the previous element, right? Okay, so if that's said, let's get started. Yeah, okay. Uh, oop, nope, uh, yeah, let me just save it for now, who knows? Oh my god, okay, fine. Uh, okay. Let me now remove this, or at least hide it. Okay, cool. Um, so now let's get this typed. Uh, actually, I'm good. I'm a little late. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna be a little lazy with the. Uh, 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 uh. What I said was you only you need the previous row and the current row, but I'm too lazy to have fun with the memory allocations. I'm just gonna do it this way. Uh, so that. So this is still O of n, but. Uh, if I need a couple more intermediate variables, okay, let's set up our DP first. DP, oh, it's initialized away. Uh, probably could even actually, probably it's okay with. Not to be honest, but uh, oh, that's not always true. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, fine, I'll write it out. I was gonna do something C E, but but uh, but I'm not gonna do it, I guess. Um, Uh, so, observing viewer might know that I have gotten bit by this a couple of times, so let's just say if this is the case. Uh, okay, so yeah, so that's kind of just a quick setup, uh, and then now we just have to do what we said, right? Um, Uh, yeah, there's 
different ways to handle it, but uh, I'm just gonna skip to. There's not quite a cleanest way to do it, but, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so now if um, matrix ij, oh, is it just, is it one or? Hmm. I just wanted, okay, I guess this is kind of weird. I don't know why they don't actually give you an int instead. I actually instead of a, a character of zero and one. I may be wrong in this one anyway, so we'll, we'll, do, we'll let the testing sort this out. Uh, but, mm, here goes, uh, hmm. Yeah, I have to write this max function, by the way. Oh, oops. Plus one. Otherwise, it already is zero, probably. Yeah, because we don't touch it. Okay. And then now, oh. Uh, and this actually only stores the intermediate value, so. Also, on a laptop keyboard, that's my excuse for kind of all these typos. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, they're gonna complain. Uh, <coughs> might still complain. Yeah, that should be okay. Just to be sure, maybe. A quick warning of this example. Hmm. Seems like it's slow. Oh, what? Oh, what? Ooh. Actually, I'm not quite sure what the uh, why this is an int array. I guess each row of the column might be different. Now that I I have didn't notice it before, but uh, that seems like a. I mean, it doesn't change our algorithm at all. There's just a couple of edge cases that we have to handle more. Uh, that's really an awkward thing to do. But uh, what do they do in different languages? Let me take a quick look. I mean, this. I mean, in Java, clearly, this is a square array. So I don't know why they kind of. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Maybe in C they just do something funky. Okay. Um, uh, that might actually screw me if uh, if matrix size is zero. Oh my god! It's so annoying. What is the maximum n? Uh, okay, well, let's, let's at least see what it works first, and then if not, then there'll be five, uh, nine, sixteen. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh my god. Gosh, I don't know if I could do this. Uh, maybe I have to do a modic thing. It's been a while. Oh man, I didn't fix any of this. Ugh. Oh no. This may be wrong. Oh. Oh. This part I didn't expect. What, what the heck? On the max? Oh, it's just, I thought it was on this line. Okay, yeah, oh my god, okay, fine. Hmm. 
I've since I always saw it in Java, I'll, I'll switch it up for a second into a Java. This doesn't because I we also just choose something big, but um, and this is mostly right, right? <laughs> And this is mostly Java E anyway. Right? How to declare this as static? I don't even know. Actually, this is the first time I'm doing this in uh, in Java. So excuse me if uh, or like in in uh, in Java in lead code. So I don't know if there's some like weird things with uh, Java. Oop, that's C sharp. Mm, I guess I must move it turn early. I think the rest of this is possibly Java. Uh, time to call this. Ah, oh yeah, okay, not the. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, <sighs> Man, mistakes were made. Ooh, that's actually an actual error that was in C as well. Oh, whoops. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So actually, the base case is a little different now. That makes sense. Because, um, so actually, we need a base case for the row as well as the, uh, the, the first row in the first column. Um, Let me just do it here. So we're good. Hmm. I don't want to do it. Well, that's certainly unexpected. Where did I even get 50 from? Hmm. <coughs> oh, whoops. 50 is probably the char value of one of these things. Okay, so we're at least getting somewhere. But uh, I'll put this. Five expected is two. Well, uh, yeah, we definitely did not return the uh, uh, thing, but uh, and this is actually min today, that's why. Well, changing. Oops. Because you want the minimum square, that makes sense, okay. Okay, cool. So that seems like it's okay. Uh, we even 
change it to use uh, our other example where oh, I don't have the other example, okay fine uh, just change the one here one here, so that should be a 3 by 3 and a 9 uh, and in theory, I, you know, another thing we can look for is maybe an overflow for max times max but I guess it, does, it shouldn't matter uh, and maybe just do one more case where everything was Okay, uh, and we'll just take out the one in the middle and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that looks okay. So I'm going to submit and wish me luck. Oh no, ah. Uh. Hmm. Oh, oh, that makes me sad. Okay, so I. Uh. Okay, fine. Cause, uh, cause we skipped the checking for max in in this row. So, okay, fine. Uh. Silly mistakes they always get you. I think I was actually thinking about this problem uh, or this edge case earlier, but when I moved this stuff here, I forgot to check for it. But um, is that even true? Am I lying? No, yeah, may, I think actually for the zero zero case, I've always had it here, so that would have been an error anyway. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that works. Uh, yeah, but I, uh, but I would still say that um, that definitely for this problem, there are a lot of intuition leaps um, uh, and and to be frank uh, I don't know if I could I mean I know this is only a medium but I don't know if I could get at this that quickly no, not knowing the problem already uh, I mean I think I've seen this like decade ago probably to be honest but it's still like a really I don't know like like if I was an interviewer and I've done a couple of interviews myself uh, I don't think I would use this problem because it's almost like hey if you, if you have if you could somehow figure out the gotcha in an hour, then maybe we'll, uh, you know, have something to write. And and this dynamic programming is not even. I mean, it's. I've done it before. It's not. It's straightforward. Once if you've done it before, but it's not even like easy to figure out. Like there are a lot of pieces you have to figure out. And I think even just the dynamic programming, even if you, someone gave you the the intuition of the overlapping squares, um, it, it probably takes a little bit of time to figure out the first time. So I. I mean, I know this is only a medium, but I would hate for it to be on an interview. To, and and I don't know if it tests anything, to be frank. Uh, it's just, hey, like, I don't know. Uh, but, but, well, that's just me. <laughs> All right, that's, that's what